guys and welcome to back to another um, tutorial based on security for PHP so in this tutorial we are going to look at what is called as cross-site scripting which is famously, famously known as XSS cross-site scripting XSS so it is a very famous attack that is done by almost any hacker uh, to you know overcome certain things in web pages especially built with PHP so for that I have a small demo so it's a simple demo where a user can log in uh, to log in you have to create an account so you have to have a sign up and once you have created an account you can log in and you'll go to the dashboard and log out so let me show you let's say I create uh, with a name called Kira Kira username is Kira and the password is Kira and I click on sign up when I click on sign up it says created account please log in and you can also check it right here in the database Kira Kira and the name is Kira Kira so if I log in with Kira and Kira and I click on login it's gonna say welcome to dashboard Kira Kira and I have a logout option so when I click on logout I just come to the login page really cool but what if I put my name as something like this okay look at it carefully it's a script it's JavaScript and what it is doing is location.href https.google.com so this is a script when executed it will redirect you to google.com and the username is Kira Kira, the password is Kira Kira. I'm just making a new account. So click on sign up. It says create account. So I go to login. Kira Kira, Kira Kira. And when I click on login, just observe what's going to happen. Okay. I'm presently on the index.php page. And when I click on login, it has redirected me to google.com. Why is that? because if you check in the database the name is stored as a JavaScript right so if I go to if I log in again Kira Kira but this time I'm I'll be quick enough to go to the page source so look at what's gonna happen oh shit I, I was not fast enough <laughs> okay so uh, basically what is going to happen is that script will be executed when you go to the dashboard again and again so if you know view page source this is what is happening here I'll go to dashboard if you see it says welcome to dashboard and here it is executing a script you see this it's a JavaScript it's colored it's in let me show you yeah you see it is colored in pink that means it's a script not a text so since it is a script it will be executed so this is what is known as cross-site scripting so inserting a script in any input tags is, an, is the rough definition of cross-site scripting so with this people can have a lot of problems so how do you overcome cross-site scripting in PHP? You will overcome it using something called as HTML special cares. So we go to a dashboard page. The dashboard page has, uh, I'll just explain the code very briefly. So you just connect it to the database, you start a session, which is pretty common. And you'll check that the session is there. That means the user is logged in. If the user is not logged in, just uh, redirect him to index page, which is the login page. If he is logged in, we have the username stored in the session. So we extract the entire details with the username and we store it in user result. And we will extract the data using MySQL fetch association array and store it in data. So data consists of, data consists of his name, username and password. And that is what we are echoing here, the data of name. But here we will be encoding it and echoing it. So HTML, I'll show you HTML special cache. Okay. 
so before echoing it echo it this way so I'm saving it and I'm logging back again into the same account Kira Kira and I'm going to click on login this time if you observe we can see the script in the form of a text so if I go to page source you can see that the less than is converted to ampersand LT which stands for less than in HTML and the greater than sign is converted to ampersand GT so this way even if the uh, people who are hackers of course uh, put different kinds of scripts it will be disabled by PHP because of HTML special cares so there are a lot of other ways too uh, through which you can overcome this one of the best ways is this uh, the other way is to directly encode it when you're inserting it to the database so when you're inserting it into the database in the sign up page instead of directly inserting the name here if you check in the database it is still stored as less than script greater than location but what if we store here in this format itself then we don't have to write in HTML special cache every time we echo the data because if you forget it once then it's prone to XSS right so when you're inserting the data into the database itself that is right here itself you have to encode the data and insert it so how do we do that name is equal to HTML special cares uh, yeah name so this way you encode it and store it back into the name so let us sign up now again we'll use the same script and let's say kk kk and we we'll sign up and now we are going to log in back again but if you check in the database you can see that in the database it is stored as less than the less than is stored as ampersand lt semicolon so this way you don't have to use html special cache every time you're echoing so i can just remove it here and keep it like i used to previously and i log in you see it's working so these are the two ways in which you can handle XSS and PHP one of the two best ways but wh whenever you're inserting the data it is better to use this function called HTML special cares so it converts the HTML tags into its respective encodings which is like less than is converted as ampersand LT and etc so that way your website will be more secure and less vulnerable to XSS attacks. I hope this was very useful to you and if you have any kind of queries feel free to comment down below and I'm always available on Instagram. You can personal message me on Instagram. I've also given the link down in the description box. So thanks for watching and if you really have any kind of thoughts or queries feel free to reach me out. I'll help you anytime. Thanks for watching.